In this question, we are given a ratio with more than two elements. Therefore, table notation will be more useful than fraction notation. For example, if we label the colors A, B, C, and D, then we can write the number, number of marbles as 3n, 4n, 6n, or 8n. The n here conveys the fact that each of the numbers is a multiple of some integer, but we don't know what that integer is. That's the definition of a ratio. We're interested in the total of all the marbles. The total of all the marbles is the sum 3n plus 4n plus 6n plus 8n and so forth. So we have a total of 21n where n is an integer. The correct answer to this question will be a number that cannot be the total number of marbles in the box. Well, the total number for a valid case, we'll have n as an integer and therefore will be divisible by 21. Since 21 equals 3 times 7, a valid case will be both divisible by 3 and by 7. We can check the answer choices. If one of them is not divisible by 3, or if it's not divisible by 7, then it cannot be the total number of marbles, and therefore it is the correct answer. The threes are really easy because we can sum the digits of each number and see whether the sum of those digits is divisible by three. For example, six plus three equals nine. That's divisible by three, so 63 is divisible by three, and so forth. Eight plus four equals 12. One plus two plus six equals nine. And what we find is that all the answer choices are divisible by three. Not so, however, with seven. 63 equals seven times nine. 84 equals 7 times 12. 126 equals 7 times 18. But 144 is not a multiple of 7. Therefore, the correct answer is D.